Hi, welcome again to my travel channel and welcome to Petra, the best archaeological locality probably in the whole world. It's a place hidden in the barren Jordanian desert, which was capital of ancient Nabataean kingdom. It was important trade route and is still today preserved almost in its original size and almost with all its original buildings. Therefore, Petra is a great reminder of importance which Nabataeans had in Middle East trade in ancient times. Petra today is a locality which you shouldn't expect to see in just one day. Even many tourists think it's just a treasury, I knew it's much bigger, but I was still positively surprised how really big it is. It is a real ancient city still preserved until today. So visiting Petra is like going to a city break with a time capsule back to ancient times and not like visiting just an ordinary archaeological site. Therefore be prepared to spend a few days in this city and really experience traveling back to ancient Nabatea. Welcome to Atmo, how originally Nabateans called Petra. Ancient city of Petra was amongst the most significant trading centers of the Middle East, an important Nabataean stronghold that resisted both Persian and Greek attacks. Built by Nabataeans in well-hidden arid valley, on important trade route, it was placed hard to conquer both due to geographical location and well-trained defense. The city gained importance due to its strategic location on important trade route between Mediterranean and Arabia Felix. It was an inventable stop for currents with frankincense, myrrh, precious stones, silk and spices. It was capital of independent Nabataean Empire until 2nd century when it was captured by Roman Emperor Trajan and turned into capital of new Roman province Arabia Petrea. Due to switching trade from overland caravan routes towards sea, the importance of Petra started to vanish until it was completely abandoned in early Muslim times. Until beginning of 19th century, Petra was lost. It was believed that its actual place was in Bosra, modern Syria. When Swiss adventurer Johann Ludwig Butthard rediscovered Petra pretending to be a Muslim pilgrim visiting nearby Jebel Harun, resting place of Moses' brother Aaron, it was a groundbreaking discovery in archaeology and the beginning of modern adoration of this fantastic historical place. Today, Petra is one of the most significant archaeological sites in the world and most famous tourist attraction of Jordan. Locality of Petra before next to the modern town Wadi Musa and it is easy reach by walking from the city. Most popular and most photographed place in Petra is called Treasury. It is reachable by easy walk through narrow seek that was formerly entrance to the city. Try to come around midday when sun flares enlighten its beautiful columns.
to explore Petra at least few days are essential. It is huge ancient city with more than 800 buildings from Nabataean to Roman and Byzantine period. Beside treasury, main attractions are Nabataean theater, Byzantine church, monastery, royal tombs and numerous ancient houses carved into stones. Spectacular hiking paths around the place offer amazing views on the whole locality. About 10 kilometers north of Petra is another beautiful locality, Little Petra. It is scaled down version of Petra with its own magnificent ancient remains from Nabataean period. You can reach it by taxi or local bus or make a fabulous whole day hike from Petra. 